hello guys welcome back to my channel today we will learn soap web service command in automation anywhere 360 platform in this video we will cover following topics like some soap terms that is uddi wsdl soap soap architecture building soap request using desktop operation building xpath using available desktop operation and running newly created board throughout the video we will refer this soap web service so let's start uddi as we can say with with its abbreviation that it's a universal description discovery integration which is a contract between client and server client has to follow a specific format an xml format so let's firstly open this if this url so if you will see this url then it's a uddi and let's open this service number two words conversion so here if you see this request request format should be this xml one where envelope body then our operation and after that required parameters we are sending and in from server side will get response in following format like envelope body then number two response here is the response and response string the actual content which is which is served by the web service and also version 2 here and if you will go for json this is for json format rest one but we are we, we here the video is for soap so this this part is useful so let's back come back to our actual page here so here is the uddi and wsdl is is the information about what are the service port and operations are available so let's open this and here we will add suffixes question mark wsdl so this is the xml page where we can see our service name then port name and corresponding corresponding operations are here so these are available operations let me open it yes these are available available operations number two words number two dollars etc so yes we have seen our ws uddi wsj and soap is abbreviated for simple object access protocol and it's a protocol for exchange of data from client to server and soap is a client server architecture where they exchange data in xml format only let's create a bot for our demonstration so yeah here we have wave service command and we are using here uri here we have two options either we can provide uri that is that that is here for us it is number conversion with suffix wsdl or also we can provide file in file format the actual content of this xml file so we will come later to this now just we are using uri and for building soft request we will have to click on build soap request where we can read from the xml the service available service port versions and operations so let's click on build soap request so for this web service there are two there are two services are one service and two ports are available that is services number conversion and ports are two that is number conversion soap number conversion soap one two and here are operations two operations are here that is number two words and number two dollars and for number we here and one parameter for number two words operation we have to provide so we will select this one and let's click on apply when we click on apply so these informations that is service corresponding port operations and parameters will be populated in our main 
bot which we are creating that's one thing so let's click on apply yes so these informations are gathered here that is number conversion port is number soap and here from here we can select also version for now let's keep it as 1.1 operations there and here one parameter is required that is ubi num so here we will give the informations like suppose i want to convert here 200 2013 2013 is a number i have provided and it will be convert to in words so let's see this and for this authentication i am selecting as no authentication is required for this web service and header is also not required and we can provide output whatever the output is coming from as response we can provide uh, we can we can add into a page so let's we we are going to save here so let's click on new text file and here i am adding as response dot xml xml yes so let's see this yes here we have got and let's add it here so my response will be saved in this file and selecting i i, I want to read only a specific uh no not through or uh, not all okay so for this we can select build path and again when we click on build path a desktop operation page which is called stage will be open and here is the page so let's click on i want to see i want to see only that much of content number two words not all so let's click on this 2013 we can see here response yes now we will apply so that informations the x path will be populated in our main page so x path is here populated we can see and now i want we are not using any delimiter only we are we are we are adding values and let's save it inside a prompt assignment and we will print this inside a message box yes so fine we have created a bot and it's ready to run so oh, let's run so here we can see we have got response as 2013 which we have provided as number we have got as a string so that's this bot runs successfully and we are getting our required output and also the same parameters with complete response is saved here here you can see 13 parameters with all this envelope envelope then body and then our actual content as response is also saved that's good and just for informations the same output we can populate with the same wsdl file content if we are going to choose this one this file content so if you click on desktop file and we'll provide the path of locally saved xml file or wsdl file path we will get the same response as the current one yes and if and this optional address location is if somehow suppose we want to change our web service from here web service uri then in this case this will be at this optional field at this location can be used and inside throughout the interaction with server this specific uri will be replaced with whatever we are going to give like new uri 
so throughout the conversation or throughout the interaction this parameters this uri will be used yeah that's all that's a basic uh, introduction to soap request